Peace everybody, I'm Chuck. Welcome to Ross Recording Studio. And if you're like me, you got your spark in the last couple days, you've been trying to connect to your Bluetooth settings and you've been having issues. <coughs> so after I calm down, it's very simple. Instead of using your phone and the only thing I could suggest is listen to the video, but that's almost a little bit complicated. I can make this very, very simple. You go to your Positive Grid website, nothing fancy, no amps or anything, just Positive Grid straight, and you've probably already registered your Spark Go. And if not, you're probably already logged on as a member of Positive Grid. I am. So don't go to products, orders, log out or anything. Click your account. When you get to your account, you will see your devices. I have a couple different devices. Learn more. Spark Go. Click learn more. And this page is going to bring up Spark Go firmware update. Also, you can get the manual is on here for download and getting started if you brand new. So click firmware update. You go to your download. I've already done this. Okay, when you click download, as I said, there's your usual user manual, driver, and firmware updater. So I've already done that, so you simply go to either Mac or Windows, click on that. It's going to download it into your computer. It's downloaded. I open it up. And it is a application file, so you basically just double click on your application file. And then from there, follow all your instructions. This file already exists. I've already done it. So I really don't need to, to do it again. But, well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to reinstall it. Yes to all. It'll just reinstall everything so you can actually see it. It goes into your DOS mode on here. Administration, you want to click yes. Spark firmware updater, yes. Now here's where you connect USB then turn on your Spark Go. I recommend using your cable that's in the box. I tried my fancy USB cable and it did not work. I did not try it again. I got the one out of the box even though it's an exact same C to USB. It's shorter. Every once in a while they make something that's exclusive for the units even though it seems impossible that the other cable couldn't work I think it was a fluke because actually the cable that came with it it took me a few tries to get it so basically you just hit go next make sure your spark is off before you connect it and then when you go to next you can't detect the spark amp and then just follow your directions um, In this case, I'll just show you real quick since it's no real big deal. I have everything put away nice and neat. Plug the USB in, you plug your C in, turn it on. Connecting. You're up to date. We're done. Beautiful. So you can see how simple that was. But if I wasn't up to date like I was not, you just follow the steps. Click on it. You'll see it downloaded in there. And then it says done. Very simple. And learn about, does it say what the update? It did say what the update 
thud. I guess it's not there, but basically it's new tones. It's talking about the equalization of the sound, so I think I can hear the difference on just the stock mode. It's an improvement, and I have some of the old footage, so maybe I can get a comparison of what it sounded like on the porch last week. What did what it sound not like on the porch this week? So everything's back in the box. My firmware is updated. I did try it and it works fantastic so we don't have to go into all that peace out don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment